Another disorder that's associated with migraine is stroke. Good for you. All right. There's a lot of evidence linking migraine to stroke, which is something that people sometimes find scary. So the bad news is that people who have migraine with aura are approximately two to three times more likely to have a stroke than people who don't have migraine at all. And that effect is especially prominent in young women. The good news is that for young women, the risk of stroke is extraordinarily low in the 10 to 15 per 100,000 range. So even if you triple that risk, um, you get a very low number. Recently, a study that appeared in JAMA shows that in women over the age of 45, migraine with aura is also associated with an increased risk of stroke. For patients who have migraine with aura, that funny reversible neurologic phenomenon, it is a minor risk for stroke. It's a very low risk, but I do tell patients that, and because it's a risk factor that they have, I tell them they should avoid any extra estrogen in birth control pills or hormone replacement therapy. I usually recommend that if they can, they should take an aspirin a day. And if they have other risk factors for stroke, such as high blood pressure or diabetes or smoking, those risk factors should be treated and obviously smoking should stop. While the risk of stroke is increased in migraine sufferers who experience an aura, the overall risk of stroke is very low. Nonetheless, other risk factors for stroke should be identified and corrected when possible.